Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. If you've been watching out my channel for the last while, I've been doing a lot of makeup hauls because I bought a lot of stuff and one of the things that I outlined that I got was this House Labs foundation and it's called the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I can never remember the name, it's really, really long. I got it in the shade 015, it's fair warm. And today we're trying it out, getting some first impressions and we're gonna see it in lots of different lights if we can at all. <laughs> and we're also gonna do a wear test to figure out whether or not this is worth your money because she is spendy. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then do please keep on watching. I'm aware that I probably look a little bit weird at the moment because I've put my concealer on first. That's the way I like to do it. And I have a huge spot. It's a great time for us all. Okay, so I have the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. How very fancy. And I got it in the shade, I think it was 015. Yeah, 015, fair worn. Now, I am a little bit worried that this is too light for me. Who'd have thought, because I'm normally finding stuff that's way too dark for me. Um, but I mean, there's stuff that we can do about that. Like we can figure it out. I will say, I kind of got a little bit of color during the summer. Who'd have thought? So I have my little kind of palette here. This is the way I like to do things. I'm just gonna take out two pumps for the moment. Let's just do it so that it's like, small enough coverage to start off with. I have this Artitude Cosmetics brush. I've been loving this for applying foundation at the moment. I did use my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Primer because that seems to be one that seems to work well with this. Um, I forgot how good that smells. It, it, it's nuts. So let's give this a little bit of a go. Already it's applying so much better than when we used the Milk Hydro Grip. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay, this is, and I can see it's quite buildable. Now, I don't think those two pumps were enough. I'd say I'll have to do more, but that's okay. Okay, and she's meshing nicely with the concealer that I have, which by the way is my favorite my Dior, I love her. Oh yeah, this is, okay, this is looking nice. Okay, so it is about the type of primer. Like I said, when Daniela was here, it looked bad. This, <gasps> shut up. Okay, so this looks very like my Dior formula. <gasps> Oh, girl. Okay, so it's literally just about finding the right primer. I'm so happy about this, because I was afraid I'd wasted my money. And she's coming out with concealer as well, which, this concealer is like this. Oh, girls, guys, this, I love. This is very nice. Okay, let's see how this is applying on the nose, because my nose is always weird have like little patches where it's like, no. Also, I have like angular chelitis at the moment. You know it's coming into winter, my skin just always does this, it like breaks down. Like, no, no, thank you, goodbye. It's even covering the spot quite well, like not perfectly, but quite well. I'm gonna just tap it in and then we can buff it out. Put it to the ears as well, because this is a little bit lighter. But again, this is me with a tan, because I've been outside a lot lately. Because um, as you guys know, we bought a house. So there's a lot of outside stuff that goes into that. So we've been like gardening and stuff. Oh, that is, that is lovely. I'm so happy with this. I mean, we'll see how it wears. But like, first impressions, she's giving. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Sorry, I know I've like put my damned mirror in the way, but this, I can see why people were raving about it. It's giving me a very similar finish to my Dior. 
Oh, I'm so glad I was able to get this on Sephora. I'm gonna have it linked down below. This is beautiful. And by the way, they have like a, I think they have like an all out white shade, which is kind of cool. So it's great for like um, MUAs if they want to mix. Cause I know on House Lab's own site, they kind of, they have a thing where like you get a percentage off, but only if you get all of them as an MUA. And I'm like, but MUAs aren't gonna buy every single shade. They'll buy like maybe six out of the 40 and then they'll mix. Don't you get how MUAs work? It's very strange to me, but I love this. I think the finish is stunning. I'm so happy with that. Right, I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and we'll do outside tests, etc. and we'll do a wear test. But this is looking nice. Okay, so I'm back and I've done the rest of my makeup. I have lots of lights on here. Let's be 100% clear on that. But can we please appreciate how lovely this foundation is? It meshed so well with all of the different products that I used. And I used like mixes of House Labs themselves, their, found, not foundation, but their bronzer. I used some made by Mitchell. I used some Rare Beauty. Like this is mixing very, very well. It does seem that it does depend on using a good primer, or at least a primer that is appropriate for it. I think this looks fabulous. When I showed it to Sahil, he was like, oh, do you have the Dior on? Now that is the highest of compliments from Sahil because that's his favorite foundation on me. He loves it and I gotta say, depending on how this wears, this might be paired with Dior as my favorite. I think I might actually prefer this a little bit more. <gasps> Who would have thought? But yeah, I'm gonna zoom you in now so you can see this like uncomfortably close and we can see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see here, I have it on the cheek. You see how well it has blended with like the blush and the contour, etc. that I have. It hasn't gathered in any weird way. It isn't coming off in any strange way. KVD, I'm looking at you. Don't mind the fact that I have angular chelitis. It's a whole thing. And it's covered up the spot pretty well. Not hugely well, but that's because like I like minimal foundation. But I have to say, this is very, very nice. I'm gonna bring you outside now so you can see it in natural light. I love that I brought myself outside and you've probably seen this already, but it is raining. But you can see this foundation in the natural light. Look at how good that is. It is pretty. Right? Or is it just me? I think that's really, really pretty. We'll see how it wears throughout the day, but I mean, it hasn't gathered in any weird way. It isn't like pilling off in any strange way. Yes, I have peach fuzz. <laughs> it's almost like I'm an adult with hormones. Also, this is one of the stray cats that kind of comes to us and he just kind of hangs out in our, in our yard. Um, yeah, I've called him Sir Hiss. So yeah, he's currently like looking at me being all like, hey, what you doing, you silly goose? I managed to get caught slightly in the rain, but I mean, she's looking nice, even inside where there's no lights on. She's a pretty looking foundation and my eyes are looking very vampy. Does look like I could like steal your soul. I'm about that life. Okay, so time has elapsed, it has been over eight hours now since I put this foundation on. I am dead. It looks so good. I think this is definitely tied now as my favourite with Dior. Who'd have thought it? I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom you in now so you can see what it looks like after over eight hours of wear. So areas that I usually struggle with are like around my nose but we haven't had any sort of break down there. It looks like really good normal skin texture here along the cheek. I haven't had any breakdown on my chin. Remember I had that with the KVD. I mean, it looks great. And here on my forehead, that's still looking pretty damn good. Okay, I think you guys are kinda gonna know what it is that I'm gonna say. This is lovely. I really, really liked this. I will say, obviously, this is gonna depend so much as to the primer that you use. The Bobbi Brown one works really, really well, but if you can find something else that works, it apparently depends based upon the ingredients. 
But I really like this. This is definitely like, mmm, this is up there. And it was a really good shade match. I thought initially it wasn't, but actually really, really good. I will give this a 10 out of 10. Love it, love it. Will I repurchase it when I run out? I kind of think I will. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I like it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to have like a link for it down below if you are interested in getting it. I highly recommend, particularly if you have a skin type like me. I am kind of dry to normal. Sometimes I get a little bit of oil, but mostly I'm dry to normal. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're more oily, I'm not sure if this will necessarily work for you. Obviously look at other reviews. Don't base your purchases on one review, you silly goose. Your money is more important than that. But my gorgeous friends, that's it. That's the end of this particular video. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Put me some little comments down below. I super appreciate it. I reply to all of my comments and I just love chatting to you guys and getting to know you. It is so much fun. But could you also please share? Because sharing is caring, except of course for STDs, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross, but that's it. That's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.